Hello, this is David from goldstartool.com and this is console 228R11-1. Uh, here you go, close up, right, people want to see. Console 228R-11-1, a post bed, single needle, industrial sewing machine. Uh, weird looking machine, right? But a lot of people are using post bed machines and um, we're gonna go over um, the um, the what you could do with the sewing machine pretty much. All right? So um, this is a, again, a post bed uh, sewing machine for um, with the roller foot. Now there are ones out there that had a regular foot, like a regular single needle foot, but this is a roller foot. And um, the, on the bottom, this is important, it's a feed dog. You close up, close up. This is called feed dog. The top one is roller, the bottom one is feed dog. There are also ones that top roller, bottom roller. They use more most of those. All of these things are made used for very tight place to get. Like in our case, a lot of people buy this for patches, to put patches on, on a shoe, on a cap, on a hat. This is how much you have to play with, right here. And this is your post. And the post should be about seven inch. The post, if you close out so people could see, here you go, seven inch, and then the space out here, two inch by, uh, I think the other side is two inch too, two inch, right? Um, the operation is the same as any type of single needle machine. Uh, same type of threading, thread stand, um, the same thread tension, everything is the same. Uh, I'm gonna try to open this up. I'm not gonna open it up. It's not not a uh, sewing machine that has an oil pan. Um, this machine is gonna set up on a uh, new take a T leg with wheels because the person that bought it wants this to move this machine around. But it's the same size table. Uh, again, because I know you're gonna call me and ask me. 47 inch, 47 and a half by 21. The bed, the whole bed, the entire bed is 20 inch right here. The space between the post and the neck is about 10 inch, right? We said this is seven and the height between the post and the top is 13 inch by the console, right? The machine comes with a brushless servo motor, so you could put on a needle positioning system right here, Bradley, right here. This is called motor. I'm sure you know. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, brushless, uh, you could put a needle position, a bobbin winder, a mechanical bobbin winder, uh, again, the machine does not have an oil pan, meaning it's not a machine that constantly pumping oil. Uh, there is an oil drop. I'm going to try to see if I could. I don't want to do it really, honestly. Yes, because already everything is set up. There is nothing down there. It's only, only a tray, just a tray for the oil. If the, you drop oil here, I'm using one of these zoom spot oils you just drop oils in the places like here uh whatever the book says not a big deal the machine comes with two with the oiler with two type of um or three type of uh screwdriver needle like needles are like this i don't even know why they put needles uh, inside a ziplock bag uh, we gotta tell console people to, uh, you know, the um, the needle system is 134S, 134S like Sam, uh, and the bobbin is 20347. 
20347 is a single bobbin. 20347, very popular bobbin. Here, you just have it here. Would you show it up? Yeah, I didn't know we have it here. 203470 is all the, you know, single bobbins. Very nice. Then, uh, here, bobbin driven, meaning that you're gonna have a bobbin right here. This is how you change the bobbin from here. This is going for a, for a customer. So I'm gonna make sure right here. Bobbin goes here, that's it. And um, I don't know if you could get variety of uh, um, roller foot for this machine, but I know you could get um, lots of regular high shank feet on this machine, meaning that this is the high shank, the high shank feet will work with this machine. It's just that we have to do some um, changes here. However, nobody buys this machine to put a regular foot on it. This is a, um, see my dad always told me, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. So I took it off, and I don't know how to put it back. But it's a good thing because now us, me and you guys at home know that there is going to be a small tiny problems like this. And maybe you don't want to take it all the way out, but you have to because you got to change the bomb, right? So let me just go here. I don't want to break this. Okay, let me just let you got to slide it. You got to just slide it. You got to take your time and just slide it. Almost. Anyway, so um, the machine is used for making uh, patches. Like you want to put patches on your cap. This is exactly what people use. It. Or you want to put a shoe in there. Or, you know, put shoes places that things have to fit in here, right? Things have to fit in here, like deep stuff that you put in here to, uh, to put it on. So these are one of the things that you could uh, do. Hey, I got it. Just show people that it wasn't magic. Just did it. Bam. All right? <laughs> um, well, cover everything here just to show you how this thing works. Um, the needle that is on this is about size 16 right now. Uh, you could go very high. This is a denim jean bobbin uh, knee lifter right here. And if you want to know how much this is going to go up, people are going to call and ask me. Um, this is how much. How much is it? Can you see? Yeah, one inch, right? Mm -hmm. One inch right there. Maybe a less than one inch. But, oh, by the way, reverse. A stitch length. This is the sewing machine. And here you go. See? The way it's working is so close to the uh, uh, wheel. That's the idea. That when you do, you want to go here to this my side, this side. Yes. Come to this side, and I go to this side. And very simple. Oi. What happened? This is the front, this is the back. I have it on size five stitch length. You could adjust it. Now, the good thing is that the way it works is like, see? Whatever you wanna do, you're gonna just move it around, right? See? You know what I'm talking about? Now, and also, A lot of people, when you want to pull it out, just pull it out and you know how to do it. Uh, let's say you have this cap. This is it, that's, it has to go up, right? People use this for this type of work. You see that? Like, it sits right here. You can't sew with the flatbed sewing machine, right? If you have this cap, 
and then you just go let's say i want to put this that'll be upside down gonna be here oh america okay. i'm gonna come back i'm just i'm not a sower people are gonna come and say david you did it wrong i know i apologize already so you're gonna go forward let's say and then backward and then forward and then just slow down slow down so, now if you had neither positioning system that would be the perfect thing you just Neither would stay up or down. And you could just turn it, right? Uh, I, and then just go down. See? And then turn. If my mom would just watch this video, she would be so proud of me. <laughs> right? Oosh. So I told you, I'm not a sower, so don't complain. But that's how things are done now. You see, it didn't come out good. I'm not a sewer, but this is the back. This is the front, right? And uh, that's how you use it on different stuff. Um, you could put patches, anything you want. I mean, in general, it's very easy to use this type of uh, sewing machine for putting patch on. You know why? Because uh, you just need to, let's say, uh, or maybe I could go here. I don't wanna go there. I wanna go here, close, uh, and apologize, one second. Whee. And then stop, and then when you're very good at sewing, you could just turn, right? And then, Turn again, and turn again without doing anything, without, see? You get the idea, right? Oh my God, people are gonna. <laughs> so anyways, it works. That's the way it is um, for making patches. Very, very good sewing machine. Uh, you, the thread, this is a T105 thread. You could double that easily. Easily you could double the, uh, this is T105. You could do 138, neither go, could go up to size 20, 21. Uh, there is a uh, needle eye right there that, you know, uh, a great machine overall. We love it. Uh, we have it in stock all the time. Great price at goldstartool.com. Please watch, like, share, thumbs up our video and have a golden day. Golden day. Thank you for watching.